Better known to some, Brother Cap. Good to be with you tonight. Assalamu alaikum, Black family, Black nation, original people of the planet Earth. Always an honor and highly grateful to be in front of you. Believe me, I take none of this for granted because I have clear understanding. When Allah places one in front of you to give his message, that's a great honor. So how's the family doing tonight? I pray all is well, because soon all will be well. As you know, I always like giving Allah his. So I'm going to start out in prayer tonight as usual. That's all I know. So in the most holy name of Almighty God, Allah, who came to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the great Mahdi, who was to come and has come to restore we, <clears throat> who are lost from our own kingdom of Islam, and to destroy those that have destroyed us. God, our God, O Allah, we are thy people. Deliver us from our murderers, and we are serving the baby all the days of our lives. And we will teach our children to submit to thee through that unequal love and mercy for thou. And thanks, thanks to you, O Allah, for making manifest to us our enemy, the devil. And help us, O Allah, to live the life and die the death of a Muslim. I bear with us no God but thee. I bear when the most honorable Muhammad Elijah Muhammad is your last and greatest apostle. Thank you, Allah, for this day. I pray, Allah, you remove niggardliness, laziness, cowardliness from the heart of the black nation, black man, woman, and child, where we become fearless, become like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abedin Nagel. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death and we'll walk through fire. Oh, yes. This is the black man that I know that was created in the beginning before there was sun, moon, and stars. So thank you, Allah, for this day. And thank you for this honor. La Wakba. La Wakba. Assalamu alaikum. Tonight, I have a very, very powerful subject in my mind. We will go all the way back before the sun, moon, and stars. We're going to go all the way back, family. Before there was even time. For the last three podcasts have to be spoken on black man, woman, child, and the black family. Now you must be given the knowledge of yourself, the knowledge of the power, the knowledge of your ability. You got to have something to teach in the home. You got to have something to draw from black people and you have to throw out everything that you have been taught for the last five, six thousand years by our open enemy. It was divinely designed to put the black man to sleep and make him and make us other than ourselves. And I have prayed to Allah that he come through me tonight in order to expound and give you this knowledge where you can comprehend it. Because this is high level understanding. And one thing I do know, thoughts are things. And I know if you drop knowledge out into the universe, 
into the minds of other people, even if you don't quite understand it, you will become to know it. This knowledge you haven't had or even gotten, and most of you have not got this knowledge. We still stuck in the belly of the beast with the knowledge of the Caucasian. We still worrying about who we going to vote for. We still complaining about our open enemy. But our open enemy really is the enemy of God himself, family. We are very, 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 very powerful beings. You understand what I'm trying to tell you tonight? We're going to go into the science of the cosmos. Cosmology. We're going to go into the proof before there was even time, the creation of time. Even before the sun, moon, and stars were put there. And I'm going to tell you your ancestors, our people, put it there through the power of the mind and divine unity. That's why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, if we come together, unite as one, we're more powerful than any atomic weapon that exists. You understand? I'm trying to tell you tonight. And I'm going to jump into it. I don't want to hold you too long tonight. So, but I want to go into my tidbits tonight, black people. But you need to listen tonight. Those who have tapped in, tap in. My first tidbit tonight said the black woman is God just as perfectly as the black man. We're going to take that off the table from this point on. Well, you had a question, is the black woman God? Hell yeah. Some of you so-called brothers out there might disagree. So what? You disagree with God himself. Say, listen to this, though. It says, black people are not subject to the laws of nature, but rather the laws of nature are subject to and originate from us. It says when Jesus came along and he performed all these miracles before the people, what he came to show the people, because we had been put to sleep by the Romans, the Palestinians, the, uh, the Persians, and all these foreign people that came into our planet and put us to sleep. He was showing us the power that we have within us. We, as black people, are not subject to the laws of nature. You may say, why not? But rather the laws of nature are subject to and originate from us. The laws of nature originated from the original man and woman. All laws and conditions of nature originate from the original man and woman. These are tidbits. So I'm going to jump around a little bit. It said God is the greatest mathematician. Not in the sense of one who studies mathematics, but one who is the source of all mathematical ideals. Listen well. What God creates is perfect in every way, including mathematically, and becomes a source of all mathematical ideals and principles. Listen. It says, this is what conversation should do for us black people. A conversation between two people results in the sharing of information 
And if some of that information has some truth in it, it causes the conscious mind to gain something new it didn't have before. This increases knowledge and causes the mind to naturally expand. We may waste our thoughts and our conversation on a bunch of frivolous conversation, sport and play, entertainment. We stuck on what Shaq say or Barkley say or what the white man say or what the Jew boys have got to say. No. It says, in a similar, similar way, but on a much larger scale, the interaction that go on amongst the black family, listen, and the black nation in America must change. We must change our conversation to cause mind expansion, the seven and a half ounce brain. The ultimate form of mind and heart. Expansion comes from divine what? Expansion comes from divine unity, where you share your whole being with one another. We are all connected. Say it again. Expansion of the mind comes from divine unity. It says God is perfect and efficiency is one of God's attributes. Being efficient. Listen here. This is the purpose of leadership. If you're not getting this from leadership, then it's not leadership. And there's only one man in America that I know of that exists amongst us today. Listen, the purpose of leadership is to lead people to divine what? Unity. The purpose of the pyramid is people climb as a mass of separate and individual from all four directions and go to the top in stages where they become one like the capstone if you understand what you're looking at. The divine abstract form of social relationship is a sphere. In truth, all abstract forms including physical abstracts, including physical objects, everything starts as an abstract ideal until it manifests as a physical reality. Listen. The spear is the most efficient form for expansion in that it expands equally in all directions at once. The problem that we have amongst ourselves, we don't move together. We don't expand. We don't grow together. We don't rise together. We got one to rise to the top. Everybody else is on the bottom. That one that rises to the top most likely is narcissistic, egotistical, and don't have enough damn sense to pull his brother or his sister up. But in divine unity, this is where we got to go. We all rise together. Listen, an example. It said, take a small spherical, spherical objects, like a ping pong ball, for example. You can do this yourself. And put them together such that you have a number of them on the outside surrounding the one in the center. Listen, make sure there is no gap for another ball to fit and see how many balls you can have surrounding the central one, all touching. The number is no more or no less. It's 12. There's 12 tribes in the black nation. This is a mathematical law of maximum 
efficiency. Efficient interaction that, let me run this back. This is a mathematical law of maximum, maximum efficient interaction. It's the perfect ideal for the formation of a society whose purpose is to advance minds and heart unity surrounding the central unity of God. We've been moving the wrong way. They are all equal to one another and to God. None is closer to or further removed from God than the other. See, so this removes jealousy and envy. The number of tribes in the black nation is 12. I will move right along on this subject tonight. I had to come in to play. If you come in late, then you can do the rerun. Rerun. Let's rewind it back, take a look at it. But I think this knowledge is so important for us to get tonight. Because we've been told we are nothing. We've been told we niggas, which we call ourselves that so openly today. We openly maim and murder one another. We openly beg the white man for every damn thing that belongs to us. We don't think we have the power to take control and develop power and force. But you got all of that. There's some more besides. Within you, black man and black woman, Listen, it says cosmology. Cosmology is the knowledge of how the cosmos, the universe, were created. White boy still guessing. Talking about the Big Bang Theory. Talking about the black hole where he has no knowledge of trying to go to the planets to see if life exists on the planets. He have no idea how the sun got there. He has no idea how the moon got there. He even has no idea on how he was made except for the wise ones amongst him. Listen. Our universe was created by our ancestors many trillions of years ago. Listen. One billion, eight hundred million ancestors came from the previous universe and created the present one. At the end of every universe, the same one billion, eight hundred million original people from a new earth using the stars of the old universe as atoms and become its first inhabitants. Then they create new stars and planets around the first earth, the first earth to complete the creation. I know you asked the question how we do it. You're going to get to that. At the end of the previous universe, all the people in the universe were in an expanded state of mind called divine unity. They were all united in mind and heart as one person. That's why the honorable Elijah Muhammad said we unite and come together. We are more powerful than an atomic bomb. Let me run that back to you. At the end of the previous universe, all the people in the universe were in an expanded state of mind, expanded state of mind called divine unity. That one billion eight hundred million were all in a state of expanded mind 
and of a divine unity. Yes. They are all united in mind and heart as one person. This one person is called God. Although there are many individuals in the divine unity, they nonetheless know themselves only as one. Each person knows himself or herself as the one and only God without losing his or her sense of individuality. He or she is also aware that every other person in the same God is the same God because they are all united as one. This is a state of mind that the ancestors call heaven or eternity. And so heaven is not a place, but a state of mind described. It comes about at the end result of taking part in the various rituals of initiation. I pray that this is still moving because my screen is frozen a little bit. And I pray that you all on the other end are still receiving this knowledge. At the end of the universe, every person that has ever lived has taken part in all the rituals, especially the seven great rituals of the black nation. And this state of mind becomes permanent in every individual. At that point, the judges declare that the universe has attained, obtained its purpose and it comes to an end. When each and every individual in the universe enters this, this state of mind at the same time, the mind naturally expands. The expansion is so great that, listen, black people, the mind not only encompasses the entire universe and everything in it, but it exceeds the universe bounded by an immeasurable extent. God becomes so much greater than the, God becomes so much greater than the universe that the entire universal spirit is, so to speak, held in the palms of his hand. And so God totally outgrows the universe. This brings about the necessity for a new and much larger universe where God can continue the experience of life. Black people, I hope you can keep up with this. A little warmer here tonight because we got them uh, got them carrot pies in the oven. They smell pretty good tonight as well. Along with that bean soup. Nice salad. That's all you need. It says... The newly expanded mind of God creates new spaces that extend far beyond the boundaries of the old universe. A new boundary of the universe is then set. It exceeds the old one by the same proportion that the whole universe exceeds the earth in size. And God's mind fills the new space right to its limits. So large is the expanded mind of the United People. Listen, that the United People that the old universe can be seen far below as an object the size of the earth. It becomes the first earth of the new universe. Listen. Bring him up. The original people then descend upon this new earth in 1,800,000,000 bodies. Their new bodies are made instantly, the very moment they decide to descend upon the earth. 
They are made of the seven substances of the new earth, which are magnetism, electricity, light, ether, gas, liquids, and solid matters. The fourth substance, ether, which is the pure blackness, called space, is the central substance of the universe. It's the womb that contains the six other substances in itself. When the original people create bodies for themselves, their bodies take the color of the ether. I said, when the original people, when the original people create bodies for themselves, their bodies take the color of the ether, black, which contains all colors in itself. Therefore, God naturally has a black skin color. Bring it down to you tonight. Stand. The new earth is called the first earth, and its inhabitants are called the first gods. Wait a minute. I hope y'all getting this because my screen is froze, but I'm gonna keep rolling. Clear up. I ain't got a word from a technician yet. It says the new earth is called the first earth and the inhabitants are called the first gods. The first earth sits alone in space in utter complete darkness. Listen. The gods are able to see directly by the power of their minds. Listen, black people. The gods are able to see by the power of their minds. This is you. They are, they, they are still united with all things and see them by being them. Mind sight or inner vision is different than eyesight. The mind recognizes all external objects as a part of itself and thus sees them with a self-generated inner light. The illumination that comes from this type of seeing is glorious beyond description. Its brightness and vividness are unimaginable and unimaginably beautiful. It is second only to the pure light of eternity in its magnificence. The perfect plants and animals of the first earth called the original totem of life come into existence instantly, instantly as well. The very moment God appears on the first earth, talking about you black people, they issue forth spontaneously from the 144,000 aspects of their perfect character. For many billions of years, they are the only plants and animals on earth. The rest of the, evolution, the evolutionary species developed from them after the sun had been created. The first earth is the center of the universe. It becomes a central place, a hub for which the rest of the universe is created. Black people, I'm talking about you tonight. I hope you're getting this. Because if not, I do this one over. You need to get this knowledge. I need to tap in and make sure that you're getting this tonight. Claim up. That screen is gone. That's all I need to know because I'm rolling. But I want to run this back.
Because these are questions that I know a lot of people have in their minds about creation and life itself. You understand what I'm trying to tell you tonight, black folks? This is black root science tonight. You understand? Well, we're going to roll right along. But I want to give you this. You got to have this. This knowledge has been kept away from you for the last 6,000 years, black people. I listen to people in their subject matter about the creation, about life, some on it, some not. But we can't listen to the white boy anymore. No, he don't know what the hell he talking about. You understand? Well, I got to run this right back, though. It says, the new earth is called the first earth, and the inhabitants are called the first gods. The first earth sits alone in space and other complete darkness. Listen. The guys are able to see directly by the power of their what? Their mind. Uh. They are still united with all things and see them by being them. Mind sight or inner vision is different from eyesight. The mind recognizes all external objects as a part of itself from which it all came and thus see them with all self-generated inner light self-generated inner light the illumination that comes from this type of seeing is glorious beyond description its brightness and vividness are unimaginably beautiful it is second only to the pure light of eternity in its magnificence. Black man, black woman, black child, you listen tonight, draw from this, little soldier, little sister. This is you. This is the power. This is the reason that you had to be put to sleep in order for the devil to rule. Do you understand why you had to be put to sleep Black folks. Otherwise, how are you going to rule? You possess all of this within you, within the mind of the original man, woman, and child. You see, with the power of the mind, that's where real vision is at. This is why I'm always harping on black man. Develop a vision. Where your vision at for today? Black man, huh? Can you see yourself in this reality on top? Can you see yourself bringing in a brand new world? You got to see it. And I'm going to tell you why. It says the perfect plants and animals of the first earth called the original totem of life come into existence instantly as well. Automatically the plants and animals come into existence once you hit on the scene. The very moment the gods appear on the first earth, they issue forth spontaneously from the 144 aspects of their perfect character. For many billions of years, they are the only plants and animals on earth for many billions of years. Uh, the rest of the evolutionary species developed from them from them after the sun has been created. Understand? The rest came after the sun. After we put the sun, moon, and stars up there, black folks. The first earth is the center of the universe. Out of Elijah Muhammad said the earth is the best planet in the universe, you understand? It becomes a central place, a hub for which the rest of the universe is created. Uh, let me run that back to you. I think y'all missed that one. 
I ain't got time to be talking about Kanye and all them brothers. Good little brother trying to damn bad. But I'm trying to tell you something tonight. I'm trying to tell you to not to teach you on you the not accept. You understand what I'm saying? This white boy's child's played to us when we come back into our own being. Listen, the first earth is the center of the universe. It becomes a central place, a hub for which the rest of the universe is what? Created. It says the rest of the universe. The rest of the other eight planets in our universe. The rest meaning the sun, the moon, and the stars come out the mind of the original man trillions and trillions of years ago before there was even time. Black man, black woman, you existed in our universe. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Who you are? You are not subject to nature. Nature is subject to you. Hmm. Wake up, black man. I'm going to wake you up best I can tonight. You can take this, let it alone. You can refute with me all you want. I'm not debating with you on the damn thing. You understand? You can take this and let it alone. But truth always sparks the atoms in the mind of the original man. We have control over the atoms in our universe. How we do that? With the mind. I'm going to break this down to you too. <clears throat> the creation of time. Say it again. The creation of time. It said, God and the bodies, one singular. God and the bodies of 1,800,000,000 people physically lived on the first earth, but his or her mind fill spaces all around to set the boundaries of the new universe. That's why when we say we pray, we pray into that one mind in the universe. Understand what I'm trying to tell you tonight, black folks? Who is that one mind in the universe? You and I, we all one. Why the white man practice separation and division? amongst the original people on this planet. Why he murdered, maiming, and miseducating us on who we are and brought in a whole new religious doctrine. He brought in a whole new concept of who God was. You understand what I'm saying, black folks? Listen, for the first trillion years that the original gods live on the first earth, there is no time. They know only in retrospect that the period of timeliness lasts for a trillion years because that is how long it takes for the earth to, that is how long for the earth takes for each subsequent star to form. And they all form from the same way as the first solar system, except for the first earth. During this early stage in the first earth is alone in absolute darkness. Did they, say, did they not say that we were created in triple darkness? That first earth was in absolute darkness. This darkness is called ether, or space in modern words. It surrounds the first earth up to a distance of nearly one million miles, beyond which there is nothing. No physical bias can go there. That region is occupied only by the mind, which is yet to condense like the seven substances. The first earth is totally still and dark. The absence of movement is the reason for the absence of time. Time is what? Motion. Mm. Time comes into being 
the moment the earth starts to spin on its axis and orbits around the sun. The sun is the generator of time. But at this beginning period, it has not yet been created, and so time does not yet exist. Black people. Mm. <laughs> there was no sun. It had not even been created. Black man, this is you. You're the original people. You created and brought yourself into existence. Mm. During this time and period, the gods measures time by measuring duration. They set their partners with each other by determining the duration of their activities. Work is necessary. So every person is united with every, with every other person. They all know what all are doing and how long it takes. Therefore, when they set apartments, they say, I'll meet you at the end of such and such an activity. And then meet when the duration of that activity has come to an end. This type of time measuring by duration is used in the external state of mind of the elders in the future as well, where there's also no time. Time does not exist in the future, black man, black woman. Although the gods are involved in many earthly activities, I'm talking about that 1 billion, 800 million that's here on our planet right now, original black people. Everybody is not original. I'm talking about that 1 billion, 800 million. That's you and I. That tribe of Shabazz. That holy tribe of Shabazz. Oh yes. It says that main activity involves the condensation of the expanded part of their mind into the seven substances which would ultimately form the first sun and subsequent star system that eventually filled the entire universe. Listen. Listen well. They take turns in the created activity in groups of 144,000 people or 72,000 couples. Man, what? At important junctures in the creation of all. In a, in a, at an important junction in the creation. All 1,800,000,000 million guys work together. Hmm. They create the universe by what? Meditation. They create the universe by meditation. They bring the plan from each star system from its original place in eternity. In the united minds where all things past, present, and future exist in perfection. They concentrate their minds on the type of sun that they want to create. Meditation is so important. Unity of the minds is so important. Leadership of the people on our planet into divine unity is the only real leadership in our universe. They, they concentrate their minds on the type of sun that they want to create and hold its images steady in the united minds, you hold an image, you hold it steady. You have already perfected it in your mind that one billion eight hundred million original black guys on the planet working together in unity. Oh yes, as they meditate on the image for some time, that part of their expanded mind will begin to condense in the chosen location. The first substance of the sun will begin to condense as magnetism. It takes a period of 6,000 years of meditation to initiate the formation of one solar system. Listen. The gods divide that time among the 7,000 groups of 144,000 people. Each group meditates on the creation for a set period 
whose length is determined by their progress. The creation of the sun advances in very precise stages. And the duration of these stages is their way of measuring time. This is black folk. It says, as the 6,000 years of creative activity, listen, <laughs> they rest for a thousand years before starting the creation of the next star system. The creation of stars is sequential for the most part measuring one star system recreated, meaning one star system recreated at a time. Simultaneously with the sequential creation, the gods are involved in a larger process of prearranging the placement of each system. They determine beforehand where the location of each star will be, what its movements will be, as well as its magnetic relationship with the rest of the universe. By magnetic relationship, I mean what modern science is called gravitational relationships. In reality, gravity does not exist. It said in reality, gravity does not exist. But who's your teacher? Talking about Einstein? Huh? Hmm. But those that must come down, huh? They call it gravity. <laughs> I mean, what modern scientists call gravitational relationship is really gravity does not exist. What they call gravity on Earth, excuse me, <clears throat> is mostly atmospheric pressure. On a larger scale, out of space, gravitational attraction is actually magnetic attraction. That's why the other Elijah Muhammad told us other light attracts. Hmm. On a larger scale, out of space, gravitational attraction is actually magnetic attraction. And so every 7,000 years, the gods begin the creation of a new star system. This creative process continues even today and will continue until the entire universe is filled with allocated number of star systems. It takes a, a trillion years for the first star system to be completed and about the same amount of time for each subsequent system to reach completion. But the actual creative process of initiating the formation of each system takes only 6,000 years. At the 6,000 years of continuous meditation, with the 7,000 groups relieving each other, all the necessary conditions are set in place for the source system to reach complete, automatically, to reach completion automatically. In other words, once the initial process is completed in a 6,000 year period, the rest of the process follows natural laws. If there is an Earth-like planet in that star system, it would be ready to for the habitation in a trillion years. But thus the second Earth is pro inhibited. Thus the second Earth is inhibited by settlers sent from the first Earth after a trillion years. After that, a new Earth is inhibited, inhabited every seven thousand years. Time never was what man was not. On this subject, this is enough for you tonight. You're going to have to play this back over and over again. But my job is to drop the seed. My job is to drop that seed, that thought into the mind of the original people in America. Thoughts become things, black people. I'm talking about you and I. I'm talking about the whole creation of everything. How the sun, how the stars are developed, are created from the mind. He said, perfectly created in the mind of the original people. There is no separation between man 
and woman. You understand? This is the Caucasian ideology. We took on that ideology ourselves because he had dominated us so strong. We said, hell, we're going to dominate our woman because we're stronger physically, but not mentally. The divine unity is the key. Recognize true leadership. And as I stated earlier, one of the most powerful beings to come into assistance besides the mock day yourself was the most honorable and humble Elijah Muhammad. Allah Wakbar. And he left his student, the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. What is he teaching? What type of leadership is he putting out? Divine unity. That's the only leadership she really should be paying attention to today. You understand? That's going to bring us back into our natural state of being and give us the ability to bring in creation again. This you black man. You ain't no damn nigga. You ain't no dog. Understand what I'm trying to tell you folks tonight? I'm teaching you about the knowledge of yourself. I'm teaching you how you brought into existence the earth itself. You ain't gonna get this damn knowledge in Stanford, Harvard, no damn way. They told you a three fourths human being. We sitting up here worrying about this little white boy. And this is so important for the black family. Because in your family, black people, practice the unity of the mind. Start manifesting that of good within the family. Focus and see it. Sit the whole family down. I, I, I remember watching this movie in Turbo with the Muslims. When they had these wise men and then when they wanted to create a situation or they wanted to send an elder and he to travel, they would all sit around in a circle. And they would start these chant. This chant. Understand the power of the mind. Controlling the forces and the atoms. But you didn't know what you were looking at. You were just looking at a movie where he would transfer his being and find this individual and go talk to him and go warn him about what is getting ready to take place and how to protect himself. You understand? You have that ability. Kalima and I was talking about the same thing this week or last week. How the family but she used the power and unity of the mind and visualize what you want a good and project it and it shall be. It's a lot, lot more here. It's a lot, lot more here. But I can't give you all this tonight. This is enough to turn over right now. Understand what I'm saying? But what I did want to give you a little bit the protocol. The protocol of the elders of Shabazz. On how we can develop our own community and live. And get away from this system of so-called capitalism. The so-called Democracy. 
Listen, just a little bit. It says black people are forming independent and self-reliant communities all over the world. Some are fairly large, such as the one that moves to Israel under the leadership of Ben Amin. Others are very small, consisting of only a handful of people. The small ones that will eventually merge with other and form larger communities with their own land, farms, businesses, and all essential services. Many black people realize that the coming of the white man's world has reached a point of no return in its demise. It is it's at that point. Fall of America. It is so riddled with corruption and greed that it cannot be re-simulated. It will self-destruct and a new economy will replace it. Listen. Black people, especially African Americans, will be the key to this coming new economy. You the key. You the key to it all, black man, black woman, black child. Black people, especially African Americans, will be the key to this coming new economy. It said the elders of the new community of black people that is soon to come have given the protocol to be used by the new communities. Yes, there are elders involved in this transition and their wisdom is unsurpassed. They have advised that the new community that are being formed must have protocols that will, that will guide them. These are the protocols I will outline here. They are not a complete legal system to guide every detail of the communal life. Instead, they provide the backbone that is necessary for each community to succeed. Once the foundation is in place and is adhered to, the other details can be governed by law formulated locally according to the needs of each one. We got to put our minds on developing a new form of living, a new form of government. We have to develop vision, black people. Bring that vision black in, back in. I got a brother, I said, put together the vision for the black nation. He's still working on it. He said he sent it to his father for a review. His father rejected it. He said, you got to go back and do better. Understand what I'm saying? But he don't know that's a test for him as well. Black man, bring out that vision. Wake up. Sleeping gods. Your vision is key to the new world. Your vision is key to our success today. In the time that we live in, wake up, black man, black woman, black child, accomplish what you will. But you got to first see it. See it in your own mind's eye. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, black folks? Huh. It said, this is a community of peace. It said the members live at peace with one another. Anyone who brings discord to another brings discord to the whole community. If found guilty bringing discord, he will be banished from the community for one year. If found guilty of second offense, whether similar or not, he will be banned for three years. If found guilty of a third offense, he will be banished permanently. This is the way we got to start moving. This is a community of prosperity. <clears throat> All the members are expected to contribute as much of their productive energy as possible to the community. They are encouraged to invest as much as possible in the community projects, decide to provide necessary products and services to their members. They're expected to spend as much of their money or as possible in the community businesses and services keep that money circulating, providing services. All members must donate 10 cents out of every dollar of the income to the community. They said 10 cents. We can do that easy. And some oversights. This is a community of responsibility. 
All members are expected to work for the maintenance and improvement of the community. Anyone who refuses to work for the community or contribute to it in another way will be banished for one year, three years, and permanently on successive offenses. This is a community of families. It says all children who reach age 18 years of age within the community are expected to marry within five years by their 23rd birthday. All single adults 18 years or older who join the community are expected to marry within five years of joining. All who marry are expected to bear and adopt black children within three years of getting married. All childless married couples who join the community are expected to bear or adopt black children within three years of joining. Listen. Any married couple who refuses to bear and or adopt or raise black children will be permanently banished from the community. Oh, yes. Only members deemed by the family community committed to be too old or otherwise incapacitated or exempt from the marriage and family laws. Listen. This is a community of black people. All adult members are expected to marry black people. Anyone who marries a non-black will be banished from the community for as long as he stays married. If he did the divorce, he may come back to the back to the community and bring his children if he has custody. But his mixed race children will not be allowed to marry other mixed race children. They've been married black people who are not mixed race or remain single. That's called that's why you see the white man chasing behind that black woman right now. All he wanna do is plant a seed in your black woman. So his seed can go into the hereafter because he know this is his demise. But this is how we cut that off. Allah what but they may marry black people who are not mixed race or remain single. If they remain single, they are the only people so allowed. If they remain single, they are not allowed to bear, adopt, and raise children. If they marry black people who are not mixed race, they will be expected to bear and or adopt and raise children according to the, the time schedule already. Black people are directly married to non-blacks when applying for membership and be refused membership unless they divorce. This way it got to go down. Anyone who contravenes these rules of marriage and family will be banished from the community. This is a community of unity. Listen. All the similar communities are encouraged to join together into a larger community, obtain land, and live together in complete self-reliance. That's why we got to buy land. That's why we got to separate black people. I know some of y'all ain't feeling this, but that's on you. We have to start putting out some type of protocol because right now we don't have any. Only thing we follow is the laws and rules and dictate of our open enemy. And the closer he gets to his doom, black people, the more evil he's going to become. The more hateful he's going to become. The more deceitful he's going to become. Because he see the handwriting on the wall. I'm sorry, Tiger. I'm sorry, brothers, all y'all went out there and married these brown hair, blue eyed, white women. I'm sorry, Kamala Harris. I'm sorry, Clarence, Uncle Tom Thomas. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, whatever your name is, sitting on the Supreme Court. You're not bringing that crap into the black nation. You're not sliding the devil in up under us and you've been completely compromised. Hmm. I just wanted to drop that 
a little protocol out to you tonight. Somebody got to put something out there. Because we like a ship on the ocean without a sail or a rudder. It's all over the place. But I have no understanding. But I have no power. No idea on how to obtain power and force. God is praying to a mystery God that don't even exist. Go oh, look in that mirror tonight. I have given you some of the ability that exists within you. We are all one. We love criticizing one another. That's, we good at that. We can get on social media and talk about brothers and sisters all day long. Well, look in the mirror, partner. Every tub sits on his own bottle today. Let me give you a little bit of something from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad on the theology tab, and I'm going to close him out. Honorable Elijah Muhammad says, I don't like to criticize anyone because this is not what we are after today. We don't want to criticize each other. We can, cut, we can get together and squash that thing called criticizing. In fact, that's what Islam has come, come for, to put a stop to the black men making fun of black men. Islam is here to make us brothers. And if we can't be brothers, we're here to push him out of the circle. God himself is here for the purpose of showing you and me that which will help us and do for us. If we can't, he's here to push us into the lake. And not a lake of water. It's a lake of fire. That's what he's ready to do for us. Understand what I'm saying, black folks? The world is lingering around too many years over the righteous time. They are over time doing this to us all because you will not be on time to wake up and join on to your own kind. That's the only reason, white man, that you still here. That's the only reason that you can call a brother like Mr. Irving, Kyrie Irving, to the floor. That's the only reason when a man speak truth to power and call these white boys out who is the original tribe, the original Hebrew, Hebrew people on the planet Earth. And here y'all come back with that old fake outcry. With all that devilish meant. With your little weak, fragile self. Because a lie is fragile. We're the original people of this planet Earth. Black man, black woman. We are the shadow of a doubt. And I give a shout out to the Hebrew Israelites. Oh, yes. For stepping out. You understand what I'm saying? Marching on Barclay Center. Say, oh, no. We're the true Israelites. We're not going to let you continue to steal our birthright, black man. But Allah is manifesting everything today. So you know who's who. So you know who's in the pocket of the great Satan himself. Take notes. You don't have to say anything. Know who's who. Who's on our side and who's against us. Who are sold out for things. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, black folks, tonight? Nation time. What's done in the dark shall be brought to the light. You don't be able to hide on this one anymore. 
You understand? And one thing I would like to say to the brothers in the NOI, the nation is love. Brother, y'all got to do more. It's beautiful with the work we're doing, but it's take over time. We should be building industry all across America. Say it again. Produce, become more productive. Bring in industry. Hell, let's generate our own money. We well, you know, he had to worry about a damn donation. Follow the leadership of the Honorable Muhammad Elijah Muhammad. He said the example. But y'all waiting on the minister to do that too? Huh? You wait for the minister to get out there and do all that work too? Hell, he done gave you the knowledge. He done gave you the foundation. He's that shining light of the sample in front of you. You had to analyze Muhammad. Come on, let's take charge of our post, brothers. We can do a whole lot more. Every mosque in America be a distribution center for goods and services. Let's bring in industry. Let's bring that fish back in. Whatever way we can bring in to produce and manufacture, let's do it. Black folks, come on, fruit. Up your mighty nation, accomplish what you will. It's more than just running around in that suit. I don't realize Muhammad said he put us in that suit. Become businessmen. You understand what I'm trying to say? Don't leave it all to the leadership in Chicago, you got the damn knowledge. Let's get busy. Now this is constructive criticism. I can say it because we are doing it and have done it. It's your black Muslim baker. Even though it exists no longer, that was an example. Each one of us brings something to the table. Like a brother told me, he said that when he met with the minister, he said on the, on the piano, each key produces a different sound. But when we play it together, we produce what? Music, black man. Come on, fruit. Brother Captain talking. You understand? Tonight. Because I know your capabilities. You understand? It's more than just going to the meetings. It's more than just doing the call out. You understand? Y'all got to get up off of them damn jobs. You understand what I'm trying to tell you, folks? Let's become productive. Let's buy as much land. Let's start manufacturing that production because you see pockets of production jumping off everywhere now. Let's get with it. What's your problem? Hell, you the problem. It says, the world has lingered around too many years over the righteous time. They are over time doing this to us all because you will not be on time to wake up and join on to your own kind. If we had been swift and eager, listen, with our ears open to hear the trumpet of self blowing, we would have been a long ways toward the gates of heaven. We want to get together here in America, first of all, and build us something of our own that the world will recognize. He said, first, in America. You understand? That means you at the front of the right, black man, black woman, fruit of Islam, the military wing of the nation of Islam. Let's be that example. When we go out into the community and talk to them young Thundercats and them young soldiers, 
Then we got inside there that sample, set that clean glass next to him and say, look, man, this is what you can drink from. You can throw that away now. You throw that dope bag away. Understand? Now, if you want to stand on the corner without getting a ticket for the lottery, own it. Buy it up. Own it. Pull your resources. You're buying all this old cheap gold that the white boy done stole from us, giving all that money back to the devil. Become more productive, black people. It's our time now. This is our time to move forward on this planet, in our universe. Take over time. You understand? Quit begging the white man for your freedom. Take it. Say it again. Take it. In many, many ways, we can take it. But you got to develop, develop that will and that desire to take back what belongs to you and I. Quit fronting. Let's take our stuff back. Use this seven and a half ounce brain and come together and form a consortium. Pool our resources. Support Chicago. Support our minister. Support your brother over here that's doing good or your sister over here that's doing good. You understand what I'm saying? Throw away jealousy and envy. Quit criticizing. It's easy to criticize, but can you get the work done? Work is better than prayer. Say it again. Work is better than prayer. Work hard. 18, 20 hours a day, seven days a week. Ain't no days off. Understand what I'm saying? There is no days off. We don't have time to take no damn days off. You understand what I'm saying? Take your butt to the meeting, get your butt back to work. Understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes, we can do this. They say we want to get together here in America first of all and build us something for our own that the world will recognize. There's, there is no work going on in America that you can compare with our workers. No worker has the progress as our workers. They don't enjoy progress. They don't, they don't care where you from, you're from. Brother and sister, you are the best. You are able to get the confidence of the nation of the earth. Listen, they will help us in every way that we call on them. They will do it. And God will make them do it. We are with God and God is what? With us, black man, black woman. Come on. Believe in your damn self more. What we waiting on? Pass a damn bill in Washington, D.C. Will we wait no reparations from the good grace of the devil's heart? And they still can't pay us enough for what they have done to us and our ancestors and our foreparents. They can't compensate us for that. What, $30 million for what you done did to us? That ain't nothing. No, give us a land. Give us some resources so we can go for ourselves. Separation is the key. We're buying food, clothing, and shelter for ourselves. Build our own homes. Develop an industry that we can control and run. Then we can put our demands on the table if you choose to do so with the devil in America. But this begging, sitting up here with all these Christianized Negroes that don't have a damn clue of the time they living in, half a step from the damn graveyard. Most of them got degrees and don't even have the knowledge to sell and lead my people down the path of no progress. Congressional black caucus ain't worth a damn dime. 
Most of our congressmen and senators in Washington, D.C. ain't worth a damn dime. Our black people condition is still the same. We got black mares all over America. Look at the slums. Wherever you got a black mare, you got a damn slum. Only thing they can do is talk to the norm. Talk about crime. Hell, it wouldn't be no crime if you had some damn resources. You know they ain't going to give it to you. So what we crying for? We can do this our damn self. Black man and woman, I just gave you the most powerful knowledge you can receive. It's on us to get the job done. We ain't got to beg nobody for nothing. We ain't even got to vote another damn time. I only voted one damn time in my life. I didn't even vote for Barack Obama because I wasn't tricked by none of that foolishness. Only man I ever voted for was Dr. Yusef Bay or your black Muslim Bacon when he ran for the mayor of the city of Oakland. And we ran this campaign. We registered, bro. We went straight to the hood. And registered thousands and thousands of black people. And we got them to the pole. And we came in for where well, we became a power broker. In every local and city election, they had to come to us, black Muslims. You understand? Think about that. Everybody after that that ran for a political office had to come to the Muslims to get that vote and get that endorsement. You understand what I'm trying to say? We playing this whole damn game wrong. You understand? Take over time. And if we got to fight hell, we gonna fight like hell. You understand what I'm saying? And we be trained up and know how to go behind the enemy lines. To get the damn job done, it's necessary. Ain't no more rolling over. Understand? Ain't no more snitching anymore. We're going to run them damn drugs up out of our community. And we're going to set all them house niggas out. So at least you know who they are. We ain't got to do nothing to them. Understand what I'm saying? We're going to point them out. The day is a manifestation of our defects in the black nation. Well, we want to learn and practice how to come together as a united nation, as a united block. You understand what I'm saying? And we'll develop soldiers that has the power of the mind, that has the vision. You understand? We want to develop soldiers that can see with the mind's eye. You understand? We want to develop men that know how to eat that one meal a day. Eat every three days, maybe every seven days, black man, physically fit, mentally sharp, and highly, highly intelligent, and highly dangerous. You understand? But humble. So humble, you don't even know they're dangerous unless you cross the damn path, unless you mess with the family, unless that trumpet blows, then it's on. Now, y'all ain't seen the real black man yet in America. What you got on social media and TV is a bunch of punks. Understand? With shiny objects. Bunch of punk Negroes. Understand that the white man allowed you to have some riches. And he slapped you on your butt. You understand? And bend you over and bring your butt right on back to him. So nigga, get back here and fall in line. You understand? When well, you can't even speak truth to power. When you know the brother, when you know the sister is speaking truth to power, you're bending over. Calling you out. You understand? So, Pop don't let you alone tonight. You understand? But I got this knowledge. And I'm going to keep giving it to you. I'm going to keep dropping it like that drop of water. Drip, drip, drip. Understand? Because some of y'all is going to reach. Some of y'all is going to come to the understanding. Understand? To know your true abilities. See, the white man ain't taught you about the knowledge yourself. Of your true self. Because he the one that put you to sleep. He was allowed to do that. 
for a short period of time. Time is up, Billy Bob. You through. We know you're going to come. Come then. Come then if you choose to do so. Then you're going to die. We don't manufacture and produce any weapons at all. But come. Oh, Lord. The Mahdi. I'm telling you tonight. Going to murder all of you. For us. Understand what I'm saying? And if we lose 10 million of us, so shall it be. Long as the rest will live and bring in a righteous new world. Allah Akbar. I say Muhammad. I say Muhammad. I say Muhammad's got the devil on the run. Run, devil, run. Huh, two, three, four. Allah Akbar. Good night, black people. Take over time. Hmm. That's a lot of legal, black family. There's more coming. Spread this knowledge. Teach your children. Let them feed on this knowledge. Let them feed on the knowledge 19 keys is giving you. Understand? Let's grow into that exceedingly great army. Allah with us. And let's build something that said, I stamp on this planet. Good night. That's a lot of legal. Let's get on that damn square.